Okay, this is a demonstration on how to make coffee. The first part, which we didn't record. <laughs> Fill the milk to the line. Grind the coffee. Next. You stick the thing in the thing. Where it fits. Notice the protrusion, which is sticking out. That's the milk spout. Right. If you don't have it pointing at an angle, there will be milk everywhere except in your coffee, and you will not like it. And what's with that? What's with that silver handle? The silver. That's that moves the spout. Got it. And this is the frothing device, but you leave that where it is because if you do it any more than that, there's too much froth and no milk. Got it. Now, next step, you press the but one of the buttons on the front. Doesn't matter which one because that starts the machine warming up. And round the side, you can see the water level here. And if you run out of water, then you get a giant sucking sound, like Russ Perot once said. <laughs> and there is no coffee coming out. Right. And because the water level is dropping a bit, I shall fill some water in there. La, 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 la. Right, exhibit A. Fill the water. Like that. And notice it's it's still going. It's it's it still priming itself. It hasn't woken up yet. Yes. It it does take a while, now, so don't be desperate. In the meantime, find your coffee mug. Uh find your favorite coffee mug. Not just any coffee mug, but mm. yes. The one with your name on it is usually preferred. Yes. <laughs> <ever> so modest. <laughs> So at least you clean it. One coffee mug. Sure. Which says, in case of emergency, Ash Graham, source of all wisdom. Oh, add, uh, add sugar. To taste. Assuming you like sugar. If you right. don't, don't do it because then you'll be complaining. It's too sweet. Right. And then. We're still waiting. Okay, while well, we're waiting. We yes, know. notice we're still waiting. Here we go. What we do is we get a little coffee spoon out and we fill the coffee holder. Good. And we throw it all over the place. And and notice the mess. The mess is obligatory. Yeah, if you don't make any mess, there's nothing wrong with you. And then squish it. Squish it down. And then this is the important bit, you Put it up into the hole and you twist it as far to the right as it will go. And if you don't twist it far enough and it's not tight enough, it will fall out into your coffee mug. Ouch! Uh, and, and how is it that you know this? Um, no comment until I've spoken to my lawyer. <laughs> now, it's still heating up. Well, it's still heating up. Oh, but now we have only one, uh, two lights blinking, one mm. light solid. I'm going to put some coffee in the hopper so that there we go. coffee came out of the freezer. Coffee beans came okay. out of the freezer. Okay, all the lights are now solid, which means that the machine is ready for use. Now, this is what you do to make a cappuccino. Okay, so here's, okay, let me try again. The three buttons mean that the top is espresso, in the middle is cappuccino, and the middle bottom is latte. You don't want latte because there's too much milk and not enough coffee. You may not want cappuccino, oh, sorry, espresso, because there's no milk and lots of coffee. So what we do here is, here's my finger, we press this button twice, which means we're gonna make a double shot cappuccino. And we're off. Notice that the light on the right lit up. If you only pressed it once, the light on the left would be lit. Part. 
Okay, now it has stopped creating a cappuccino, but since I am a very old man and I want hair on my chest and hair on my head and you know want to be irresistible to all women, I am now going to put some extra coffee into this. And the way we do this is as follows: we take the mug off, uh, undo this thingy, and we throw the coffee grounds away because they don't help us anymore. The rest of the shit out. Which you're not supposed to do. You're not supposed to put coffee grounds down the garbage disposal, but he doesn't care. Silence. That's okay because he gets to pay the plumber bill. Silence. Then there's usually enough coffee left in the grinder to create another shot of coffee. So, guys and gals, this is what we do. Put it back on here, and if it's back on there, the light comes on, which means it's ready to grind you some more coffee. How are we? Put it in, twist it, set it back on. Now we press the top button twice because that is an espresso button, so now we just get more coffee and no more milk. I wonder it takes you so long to make a cup of coffee. Yes, but it's worth it. Yeah, but you do a quadruple coffee. You realize that, right? Yeah. Quadruple. Puts hair on my chest. Well, <laughs> that's my story and I'm sticking to it. All right. And I usually wait 10, 15 seconds just so that the coffee, get as much coffee as possible. Yeah, all the drip, drip, drips. Still dripping a bit. And you'll notice there's not much milk left in the uh, container. And then here's the most important thing here. At this point, what you do is you pull this off the machine and you put it back in the fridge. Because if you don't, it turns to yogurt. Within about the half, within a few hours. Yeah, within a few hours, all right. Because the, because the machine is warmer than ambient. So. All right. There you are. Now show us your cup of coffee. Yeah, see you today. There we go.